help you with the connections in a standard three plate looping method, which is commonly used in domestic dwellings. So this uh, ceiling rows and pendant or batten lamp holder has been opened out to expose the terminations. The far left hand side has a block of three, is identified with an N, and that's for neutral, within the ceiling rows itself. The center block of three, identified with the word loop, has the permanent line connections. The far right hand side is usually identified with the letter L, but is actually a switching line conductor that can give you control over the lamp and in it on and off. The top two cables, both left and right hand side, they are the supply coming in and the supply going out. For this, I will suggest the left hand side is the supply coming in and the right takes the supply into another room. So if the supply comes in on the left hand side, it will bring in a permanent neutral connection, which is terminated within the neutral block. It will bring in a permanently connected line conductor, which is connected into the loop terminal in the center, and to bring in a circuit protective conductor terminated into the earth connection within the ceiling rows itself. We can now see the bottom right hand cable is the one simulated to a switch drop. Switch is say a one way switch, we can see how the switching conductor goes to the switch and returns. We take a permanent line from the looping terminal in the center, goes down to the one-way switch and is connected into the common terminal. We have a switching line conductor returning. In this case, they've used twin and CPC cables and the conductor is blue, but identified both ends with brown sleeving because it isn't a neutral. It's a returning switching line conductor and it's terminated the L terminal, which really is for switching line. So you have control over the lamp. CPC, once again, is terminated in the earth terminal within the ceiling rows itself.